Hello people, uh, how you doing? Uh, this is our uh, COVID-19 uh, socializing distant, or what's the term I heard on the radio before? I don't like the term social distancing. We don't want to distance ourselves from socialization. We want to do, I think it was distant socialing. D distance, distant socializing. Okay, so that means basically we want to maintain social interactions we just want to do it from a distance okay so we don't want to have physical closeness we want to have a physical distance from one another but we still want to maintain a healthy social life it's not good for us to stay in our houses and not do anything uh, outside activities are one of the safest things you can do in this pandemic because you're not in a confined space breathing the same air with everybody as long as you're maintaining uh, uh, correct social distance, which the experts recommend is about six feet. Um, so I would uh, implore you guys today, we have a beautiful day outside today. Get outside, you know, um, have some fun. Go to a park, go to, you know, don't go to places. I mean, most of the stuff has already been shut down anyways, you know. You don't want to go to like a baseball game or something where you're sitting in close proximity to people or, or playing in co close proximity. But jogging or, or, you know, playing on the, I mean, well, playing at the playground, maybe uh, you, if you sanitize the equipment first, but that would be a lot of work. Uh, so, yeah, but just, just play, you know, out in a field or something, sports, you know, wrestle with the kids, whatever, you know, do something. Um, this is Sunday morning. Uh, most people go to church on Sunday morning. I would implore you guys, if you can, not to go to church today, not... Uh, not to be in that close environment with people. Uh, most churches do their um, sermons also online. This is a great opportunity to check on the on online experience of your church. Uh, I, go to I go to Choose Life Church in, e in Edgewood. Our church does online uh, services, so I'm gonna be watching my service online this morning. Um, you know, uh, my neighbors and I were having a bonfire this, this afternoon, and that's a great way, you know, as long as you maintain your distance from people, you know, don't get too close, you know, um, but you're outside, you know, so we're gonna do a bonfire, we're gonna roast some marshmallows, everybody's bringing their own food so there's no uh, cross-contamination or anything like that. Um, and it's, it's a great way, uh, you know, it's a beautiful day today. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain as well as uh, for most of next week. Um, and into Saturday as well. So uh, this may be the last nice day we have for a while um, in the social distancing environment or distant socializing environment. This may be the last opportunity we have for about a week or so uh, to get outside. And so since we're going to be cooped up in our houses uh, or at our jobs, uh, for those of you that are still working um, during the uh, week, um, you know, schools are all shut down, so no kids will be going to school. Uh, take advantage of this time uh, to just, you know, get out today and play and, and have a good time. You know, uh, get get your, um, your uh, burn up some energy, you know. Uh, it's a good thing to do. Um, obviously, you want to practice, um, you know, good uh, sanitation practices. You know, wash your hands often every half hour or so. Um, and... Uh, you know, keep your distance from people that are not in your household. Um, and I've been listening to some ex experts on the radio that uh, that are talking about also, since you're cooped up with your family for a long period of time, it's a good idea to, um, to isolate yourself from your family at times too. Sometimes when you spend a lot of time with the same people, even though you love them, tensions, you know, uh, you know, general habits they have start to grate on you. So sometimes it's good to spend some alone time too. You know, um, maybe uh, lock yourself in a bedroom and call up a friend or somebody, you know, to, to talk to, spend some, you know, socializing with somebody else, you know, uh, even though you can't be physically close or even just read a book or, or watch TV or whatever, you know, to put some distance between you in that person. I'm not saying you should do that all the time, but you know, just like if you feel yourself starting to get uh, edgy, you know, because you're spending too much time together, you know, um, lock yourself in a bedroom and just spend some alone time, you know, uh, you know, doing something, you know, away from the rest of the family. That'll help to ease those tensions. Um, but, you know, today 
with the beautiful weather, get outside and 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 spend some time out there. It's it's the least most risky way to spend time with other people, you know. And uh, you know, just um, make sure you uh, cover any cough that that you might have, you know, with with your elbow, <coughs> like this. Um, and uh, instead of doing handshakes or fist bumps, you know, do a bow or a curtsy. You know, that lets people know right away that you're not trying to be rude, but, you know, uh, you don't want to uh, shake their hand because you're respecting uh, distance socializing. Okay? Um, so, uh, anyways, yeah, that's about all I got to say today. Um, so, I wish you all a good day. God bless all of you.